2K Sports and the Corn Ferry Tour are proud to bring you today's event. We're here at the Summit Championship. Today's coverage is about to begin. Delighted to have your company for this second round action. Hi everyone, Luke Elvey alongside Rich Beam. And Rich, this player's trailing. Do they have to really step it up and get it going today? Well, I tell you what, they, uh, they've gotten a lot out of their game up to this point in time. They're either going to have to get more out of it, but if they continue playing the way they are and the short game fails them, let's face it, they're going to go tumbling down the leaderboard. It's all set up to be a beauty. Let's see how it unfolds. Eight days a week, that rhythm works. And let's see what he can do here today. Time for the second shot into the first. Fingers crossed for a good kick to the left. And here we are with the third shot. This part of about seven feet to the hole. That starts off on a good line. Yeah, yep. nice to make a mid-range par putt. Currently two under for the event. Time to tee off at the second. Oh, I could watch that swing all day. That's beautiful. Looks like they've got the five wood. Now that looked pretty good the whole way. What an opportunity to make a birdie. That was a gallant attempt. And this one is for his par. Yeah, well hold. Let's move on to the next. And just keeping it in neutral on the leaderboard. Let's see what happens here at the third hole. This one should find the rough. Well, a man on the ground, John McCarthy, would have a better look at this. How's it lying? Well, they're in deep here, guys. 
Really nestled into this sand trap. Let's see what happens. And he's hold it. What a shot. And that'll be a big boost to his standings on the leaderboard. Well, that's worth reviewing. Let's roll the video tape. He's in a tie for 14th place. And after that good play, moving up the leaderboard. This hole is a par three. <laughs> Going with the seven. Hoping for a bounce here, preferably to the left. Yeah, well played. A chance to move to five under par. Disappointment. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. Our current leader is enjoying a two stroke lead. Welcome to the tee at this par five hole. Go get after it. This one looks to be heading for the sanctuary of the fairway. Second shot here on the fifth. Ah, that always looked wet, didn't it? Playing their fourth shot. The ball looked a little thirsty. Sitting at minus four. Here's their seventh shot. And the dreaded triple bogey putt. Hang on, this looks pretty handy. Well hold. Currently one under for the event. Here we find ourselves on the tee of a long par four. Luke coming off a disaster on the last hole. They really need to shake that off and bounce back here on this hole. Oh, you couldn't paint a better picture. 
gorgeous swim. From about 130 yards here. Going with the pitching wedge here. Wonderfully played. This putt is 16 feet to the hole. It's on a great line. Always nice to hold those for a birdie. And with it, he'll move to a couple under par. And stepping up the standings after that effort. Teeing off here at the seventh. Going with a three wood here. Well, not a bad approach that one up onto the green. A couple of putts in there and that'll be a pretty good hole. This one here, this is for back to back birdies moving him in the right direction. That's a good putt to make. We'll take that. Kind of like it. Two in a row. Why not take another look at that effort? Our leader is enjoying a three-stroke advantage. I'm pretty sure this player will be buoyed by that birdie back at the last. Let's see if they can deliver another one. Oh, that's a sweet-looking swing, that one. Playing this one about 130 yards out. Wind is blowing right to left here, and they're going to go ahead and ride the wind back to this pin. Looks like they're going with the pitching wedge. Not a bad shot, that. Still a chance. He's already had a few birdies today. This for another. Ooh. And with that, you can go and put a par on the card. And now at three under overall. Unfortunately, backing up slowly but surely on that leaderboard, Luke. Aggressive play here, going with driver off the tee.
Oh, that sounded absolutely flushed. This is the second shot here on the ninth hole. Getting ready to play their third. Wind is blowing from right to left here. Wants to work it against the wind. <laughs> Nicely done. Chance to move inside the top 20 if you can hold this putt. This one's dialed in. Well done. And with that, he'll move to four under par. Our current leader is up by three shots. Here we find ourselves on the tee of a par four. That swing's so pure, it reminds me of Adam Scott's. <laughs> Looks like a similar approach to yesterday. Same spot as yesterday. Will they have the same results today? Choosing the 9-iron nine -nine here. Now this is some ball striking. Hitting greens and regulation, it's a thing of beauty. Well, the practice is paying off here, Luke. This player is relentless. Looking better. And that's their fourth birdie of the day. Back-to-back -back birdies never hurt, Rich. Gotta like it. He's feeling it. Now eight shots back after that hole. And after a birdie at the last, they take the honour on the hole. <laughs> yeah, it might be ambitious to some, but they're going for the green. Oh, I love that aggressive play. Oh, how about that shot? Taking out the big stick and going ahead and knocking her on. Love it. Anything in five feet to be handy from here. Their short game today has been absolutely sublime fun to watch. That's frustrating. Just four feet remaining between him and the hole. Mark it down. That's birdie number five. And that will move him to six under par. He finds himself in a share of 13th.
seeing off here on the 12th hole. You want to move into the top ten on the leaderboard? Well, let's hold this putt. It's just about three feet away. And well hold. Let's move on. And as the scorecard suggests, heading up the leaderboard. Let's see what happens here at the 13th. And after a part of the last, chance to maybe take a step in the right direction here. Now this one looks to be heading down the runway. Sitting at six under, trying to break into the top ten. And here we are with the third shot. That's some good golf right there. A good look at Birdie here. This one's online. Yeah, nice mid-range birdie putt, that one. And what a way to jump into the top ten. Trailing by eight strokes now after that hole. Let's see what happens here at the 14th. That is right down the sprinkler line. That should find the surface. Well, that's beautifully judged. And this one for back-to-back -back birdies. This putt for inside the top five on the leaderboard. It's got a chance. A wonderful putt. You can claim it. Back-to-back -back birdies. Well, that's a lovely way to make a move into the top five. He's currently tied for fifth. Let's see what happens here on the 15th. Good birdie on the last. What's in store now?
Opting for the hybrid, I think. That was never really a comfortable shot for them, was it? Yeah, it took a bit too much club on that one. <laughs> That's almost a gimme. Great chip. Yes, very smooth tempo there on that chip. Job done. Let's head to the next. Trailing by seven after that hole. Teeing off here on the 16th hole. Not bad. Looks to be going with the six iron. And this one might need to get down a little. And he's not hit the mark on that approach. Oh, the win wreaks havoc with another golf ball. Oh, well played. Oh, Dr. Chapinski strikes again. He has this putt to save his par. A good stroke. And there it is. Our leader is up by four shots now. Teeing off now on a short par four. Gotta say, just some of the best rhythm in the game. Time for the second shot at the 17th. Chosen the pitching wedge here. <laughs> Left yourself an opportunity. And this part to move into a tie for third. Okay, steady now. This is a par putt. Okay, let's head to the next. Now seven shots behind after that. Teeing off here at the lucky last, the 18. That's heading for the fairway. Taking aim from around 240 yards out here. Straight down wind. Tough to put a lot of spin on it and hold the green. Going with the five wood. They're in the bunker, looking for an up and down here. It's going to be challenging to replicate the birdie from yesterday. This would be a great up and down. Oh, 
Well, a lovely opportunity to save par here. Punt is underway. And another round safely in the books. Well, Rich, I thought that day was an absolute doozy. And this place seems to be in decent shape, don't you think? That's a good spot to be in. Just kind of hanging around, waiting for their time to pounce on the leaders, but in a good position heading into the final 36. Well, on behalf of myself, Rich Beam, and all the hardworking folks at HB Studios, thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.